hello again. This is the Newman motor with 8,000 feet of wire, a 19 inch fan running on this many amps. Point oh something from positive, negative, positive, negative, and so on. Alright, so this is very inaccurate. We have this, we can adjust this, and we get different values here positive and negative, positive. and negative sometimes and negative okay let's adjust this again positive and negative and negative and positive and negative and positive and negative if I hold it hold it in the on position here's the current it draws this much current when it's standing still when I let go, hold it off. on the off position, no currents. Where it's not connected here, but here it's connected. And then this is where you see the currents. Alright. Now when it's running, it draws a fraction of that. It's going from positive to negative, positive to negative. You can see there. Now I, this is the DC, now the AC. This is the AC current. It's going from 2 to 9 to 12 to 3 to 9 to 1 to 3 to 12 to 2 to 5 to 12. So this is going all over the place. All over the place. And this is what? The AC current. Alright. Now, this is the fan in the context of the room. Sometimes I sleep in front of the fan just to cool myself down. You see, it's much bigger than some of my previous motors. And see, it's double stacked. I have two 4,000 foot coils. And then there's my multimeter over there and my batteries over there. Okay just to verify this is my video from earlier and let's see if we can play this okay let's see this mouse is kind of cheap there we go so this is the video I had earlier running on a fan. Alright. And so we had this much wind earlier. Alright. So, let's see how much wind we have now. Hmm. Let's see. This is considerable. Not actually be less since it's running slower at this setting. Oh, see, you could tell it moved, so that's a good sign. All right. Okay. Here's the DC current. Now, what happens if we adjust this? There I go. There I go. Okay, well, it's on and off. Alright. Now we see these many batteries. What ex voltage do we expect?
38 volts. So you have 38 volts times whatever amps we have is our power. So that's it.